Hopefully that's right. Oh yes, 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 it, it worked. Look at it. <laughs> nice. Let's go. We just need to get the engine covering. Uh, so, I, so I can place blaze rods. What? What the heck? Look at this. <laughs> oh, they, they actually set you on fire, so I uh, don't step on those. Good, good. No, 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 no. I need you to jump. I need you to jump into the sea. Yes, there we go. It's beautifully painful. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. Today, well, yesterday, we made the kelp farms, I guess. And, well, the iron farm's still doing pretty good. Oh, crap, it fell into the water. I really need to get more dried kelp up, because that, that section is just kind of like, um... Yeah, it's all one-by-ones, but that's how it's gonna look. And, uh, yeah. So, I, I've come here today, and we, we need to use the, this machine here before we do anything else, because, uh, actually... Is that right? It needs to just... Get rid of that. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, go into there. Yep, yeah, no, 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 no. That, that, that might work. Yeah, that, that should be fine. So I, I need to go around this with uh, this stuff, I think, and then hopefully that does the thing. Okay, never mind. It needs to be. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. <laughs> Alright, so I had to shrink it down a bit, but that's fine. Uh, da, 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 how do the. How do I do this? Okay, there we go, and then there we go. Beautiful machine. Do, 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 do. What goes in the middle? Much better. <laughs> I don't like how you have to reconfigure this machine each time you want to make something different. It's so like if I need to make like a big stone wheel, then I need to like put the whole thing back together. But today we're making a, a, a brass wheel. And this brass wheel is gonna be spinning very fast. Oh crap! That's not what is supposed to happen. I, I I don't think I made that right. Oh crap! I forgot the one resource I need, which is gonna be coming from this angle. And I have a ton of them, so don't worry. So welcome to the workshop area again. I do have this resource, a brass casing, which is what we need for this. Boom. Oh crap, that might make it wrong. I don't know. Hopefully that's right. Oh yes, 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 it, it worked. Look at it. <laughs> nice. Let's go. We just need to get the engine covering. You see, the issue is with the engine covering is that there's 10 million steps to making it. And none of them are fun. So let's begin. So first things first, we need to get our raw materials. For example, we have a profession, uh, yes, a redstone dust guard. Yes, and so this stuff is very expensive. Very, very expensive. Don't worry though, I have a ton of coins now. I have a, a chest filled with them and I, yeah, I guess I did that somehow. Okay. Good, it's, it's filling up pretty nicely. And I've collected some basalt on accident, don't, don't worry. And then we take those mechanisms and we, we turn these into the awesome mechanisms, the precision ones. Which is what we need the redstone for. We need cathode tubes or whatever. And, and we also need nether quartz, so we need like um, 16 pieces of this, I suppose, is good. So 16 pieces. And then we make it into rose quartz over here at this table. And boom, and oh look, we, we didn't need two stacks, apparently we only needed one. I don't think that's right, but you know what, I rem I remember using two whole stacks at one point. I, I think I must have been making like a ton of uh, nether quartz, because I did have to make that, and, and that really sucked. Okay, so, throw it into there, get out the, yeah, poke that, okay, nice. For this, you probably need about two pieces of sandpaper, but I only have two and a broken one. That's unfortunate. We'll, we'll get rid of that, and then we'll just make another piece of sandpaper over here. Do, 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 do. Sandpaper. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Hopper. It's very handy to have this. And now it's gonna be making it into cubes of rose quartz. Then we need to throw it into the iron 
iron shoot thing. Yes, shoot iron on it. Yes, good. Good. And don't worry, because this is, this stuff is all melted. Technically. <laughs> it will melt fully once this is done. Beautiful. It's making all the mechanisms now. After those are done, we need to throw in the screwdriver. Where's the screwdriver at? What did I do with it? Oh, I put it in here. Okay. Excuse me? What happened? What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's doing this stuff again. I have to do them individually. <laughs> Beautiful, we now have eight precision mechanisms, and these are these are very expensive to make. So now all we need is, I think, another brass casing, and then we go to a stone cutter and turn that into the engine thing. Alright, so which of these is the one I need? I think it's the furnace engine. Is that the right one? I think that's the right one. Yes, make a furnace engine. Good. So welcome to the kelp farm. I know a lot has happened here, it seems, but don't worry, this is all part of the plan. Well, the process. I still don't know what I can do to actually, what I can smelt in this thing to get it to run, so... Hey look, it's an engine now. Beautiful. Can it do kelp? Can you smelt some kelp? Good, okay, never mind, what about wood? Do you smelt wood? Never mind, it doesn't smelt. Okay. Beautiful. The machine is alive. It's good looking. Very nice. Wow, this thing's gonna work so good. So yes, this is a power generating machine. And from power generation, it, it does this look. It's so beautiful. It's so good. So yeah, originally I was gonna take all of this energy and, uh, well, all of the kelp from there and not do anything with it, but seeing as, uh, well, I was gonna put it into here to smelt it, but seeing as that's not gonna work anymore, we're just gonna go ahead and take this all the way over to here, like so. Oh crap, the conveyor belt just wants to, like, take me on an adventure or something. I set up a belt now. Do, 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 do. Very nice. Yes, very good. Oh crap! I just now realized there is no there is no smoke machine. Okay, so I think I really messed up the gear ratios here, but that's fine. I mean, it's only spinning at like zero RPM. At least it's going in the right direction. Yeah, it covers about three blocks. That should be good enough. Hopefully. So now I reckon we actually are gonna need a, a drill of some kind so that way we can throw cobblestone into there. That might work. Oh, we could make charcoal with this. I, I don't know how to make a tree farm. I've never really thought about doing that, so I don't think we're gonna do that yet. I think we're just gonna leave it as is and let it pile up some, you know, good kelp. We'll take some of that dried kelp for ourselves <laughs> to go work on constructing, like, actual safe places to walk. Oh, while I was editing the last episode, um, I found that in the nether there is an item that we could use, potentially, for amazing things. Oh crap, I just threw the cotton into the nether. Yep, I'm gonna pick this up again. Okay, so. Huh. So all the items I dropped through the portal are- oh crap, oh crap. I- see, I told you this blade spawner was a bad idea. It's an issue. Well, anyway, uh, so we're going down to the mine shaft today because there, there was something I saw while I was editing that I completely missed, and I should have realized that this was something I was looking for, but it is. So we're gonna go find that. Oh, that's why this place is on fire. I kind of blew a hole in it in two different sections. Wow. Uh, that, that was really bad planning. <laughs> I think I might have blown three different holes in it now that I think about it, because there was another one I found. What is this rail here for? What does this serve? Okay, maybe not. Um, I don't remember where we're looking, so we need to just look around for a bit. Okay, there's this section. I remember this. This is the lower section. There's a section beneath us, which is on the bedrock level. But if we go up this way, I think... This will take us over... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and in this chest, is it? Nope, but there's a ton of ropes in here. That's pretty good. Chainmail boots. I don't know if I need those. I don't think I need nether war. Actually, I probably do. We'll save that. Some gold. I don't need that. A looting two book. 
Oh. Oh, if I use my scroll wheel, I can transport items out of there? What the heck? Well, I'll, I'll take that. Uh, so I, so I can place blaze rods? What? What the heck? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, they, they actually set you on fire, so I uh, don't step on those. Uh, well, I don't think we have what I'm looking for here. Oh, hi, Magma Cube. You, you've come to join your friend? <laughs> uh, oh, crap. They do hurt sometimes, but only sometimes. You have to, like, walk into them for them to hurt. Do I have another seat for this guy? Seat. What do I need for a seat? Oh, just the wool? Okay, I think I can do that. Good, sir. Would you get in the seat for me? Yes, yes, yes. Good, good. No, 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 no. I need you to jump. I need you to jump into the seat. Yes, there we go. It's beautifully painful. Oh, crap. He broke my boots. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this one doesn't hurt. Oh, crap. Wait a second. I thought of a usage for this. So you could jump on them and use them as, like, a launcher. Like, see that? See how far that sends me? I could totally use this as like some kind of launch system. It's, it's beautiful. But anyway, I think we're about out of time for today's episode. And I'm gonna totally walk into this guy at some point on accident. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be terrible. Anyway, so if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, um, please consider liking and subscribing. If you guys got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I will see you all next time, and hopefully we can catch more magma cubes.